guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen some sorts of animation with using HTML and CSS. In our today's video, we're going to see creating another icon that is a Facebook logo using HTML and CSS. So without wasting time, let's start. This is our index.html, styles.css, and this is the preview tab. Let's create HTML snippet. HTML snippet, as soon as we are going to write this HTML snippet, we need to link it with our styles.css so that whatever we are going to write in our styles.css is going to reflect in the preview tab. And here I'm going to create one division with the name called as a logo and that logo will be designed here in our styles.css. Before styling anything, first the body tag, margin should always be zero and the padding also should be given as zero. So that whatever margin and padding or the styling that we are going to give is going to reflect properly. Now let's style for the logo. Background. We are going to give some color. The color is always blue. Okay, let me add Dodger blue. Next we are going to add one property that is called as a text indent property. 999 EM. After the text indent, we are going to display it. I'm going to give it as inline block. Width of this will be 100 pixels and height will be of 110 pixels. So you can see this the blue color, a square that is visible here. Let us just add the border radius for that. Border radius of about 5 pixels. This is the slight curve that you have that you have. If you want, you can also increase it. I'll just give it as 25%. Or we can also give it 50% to make it round. 25% is fine. Next we have a position. It should be relative. And if there is any overflow, that should be hidden. And after this, we are going to give certain border for that. Border. 15 pixels. Solid. Blue. I'll give it as a Dodger blue. And border bottom. We'll just remove it. So that... We are going to have the borders only at these sides and this side it will be empty. Next I am going to use the pseudo class before to style the yef inside it. Background it will be dodge blue and content 20 position will be absolute from the bottom it should be at minus 30 pixel from the right side it should be at minus, let's check with 30 pixels. Width of it should be 40 pixels and height should be of about 90 pixels. And then you have border, 20 pixels, solid. Now you can see that we have got this one here. Okay, it's a two at the right side. So let me just make it a bit more inside and then we want the border radius for that as well that i'm going to give it as 25 pixels now you can see that it is curved from here next i'm going to use the same thing for the after dot logo using now we are going to add after again the background will be ee -E -E content slash 20 position will be absolute from the top, it should be at 50 pixels. From the right side, again, 5 pixels. Width should be about 55 pixels. You can see it now. And the height of it should be 20 pixels. So this is the yep that we have got. Let's make some corrections for the border radius. Let's make the border radius as uh, 10, 8%. We're going to give some border left, some different value. We'll give it as 10 pixels, solid, dodge blue. We'll increase it to about 20 pixels. Save it. Now let us make this logo in the center. So to do that, what I'll do is in my HTML, I'll just be creating a one container class, one container class and this logo, I'll just add it inside the container. And I'll also add one h1 tag for this with the name Facebook. Save it. Now this container should be displayed in the center. Now in order to add that container in the center, 
let me just use the container class here and give the styling for the position i'll give it as absolute from the left it should be at about 50 percent from the top it should be at about 50 percent transform translate minus 50 percent comma minus 50 percent we'll save this as well okay now it is in the center let us style for the h1 for the h1 text align center color of the text will be again a dodger blue font size it is give it as a 40 pixels text transform uppercase font family so this is how we have given and now let us move this facebook logo to the center so to move it in the center what i'll do is i'll just give some positioning here towards left i'll make it 10 pixels towards left okay 10 pixels is invisible 25 pixels to the left okay perfect now this has been added in the center so let us make this a bit more so for that what i'm going to do is logo border left and increase it to 30 pixels so that the logo that is there the yet that is there it is more towards the right side this is how you're going to create the facebook logo using html and css Let's see it once in the live server. This is how you can you this is how we can see the Facebook logo created using HTML and CSS in the live server. This is all for today's video. For more such videos on HTML and CSS, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Meet you again with more videos on HTML and CSS. Till then, keep learning. Bye bye.